Hey guys, Jordan Clay got here. Just listening to some music. Well, not really. How do you listen to music though? You could be using a Zune or an iPod or a Samsung MP3 player. But I'm gonna go ahead and unbox a iPod Touch for you. Um, probably looking at the date, thinking this is a third generation. It's not. Unfortunately, it's a second generation. Box is nice and squeaky. Um. The person who got it, got it for free about a month ago, purchased a MacBook and got a free iPod Touch. Never got around to opening it. They actually opened the MacBook like a week ago. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you guys. Let's see if you can zoom in. Finally found the remote. It's a very big zoom. Bit better. Go ahead and peel this tab off the top. Hard to get off. Ah, there we go. This box is very squeaky, as I said. Let's see how close I can get up. Okay. Go ahead and see. I do have a iPod Touch. This is a eight gigabyte. Mine is an eight gigabyte, also actually. Um. Okay. So we've opened it up. No, it's not turned on. That's a sticker. Go ahead and take this out. Tray thing set aside. The iPod is in there, though. Go ahead and look. Designed by Apple in California. We always love to see that. Here we have bound together our iPod Touch Quick Start Guide and some warranty information. Just some junk like that. Um, and some Apple stickers. Yay. Apple stickers are always fun. Um, what else we got in here? We have a USB cable for syncing up the device. A uh, dock adapter if you want to plug it up. Some nice headphones. These don't have the remote mic, but still nice. And lastly, a cleaning cloth. I'm not going to open this now. Cleaning cloths work really great. I like them. That's it. Very simple. Push all this aside. Take the iPod. Just want to. You never quite get this right. Okay, pull this tab sticker thing. There we go. Pops right out. Wow. The back is shiny. Mine's all fingerprinty and got some scratches. I didn't. I don't even remember. Wow, these new ones are super shiny. That is very shiny, you guys. iPod, as you can see, it says there. Apple logo. Eight gigabytes, like I said. Go ahead and take this off. Yeah, you probably thought it was on the whole time, right? <laughs> Nice. Set this some right there. Okay. Wow. Oh, there's all the fingerprints. <laughs> okay. So here is the device. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. Give you grand tour. Okay. Up here. Hard to see. You got a hold button. Over here. Also the power button. There's a little Wi-Fi intent. It's like backwards, so it's hard to do, guys. Um, nothing on this side. Volume buttons here, down, up, on the bottom, headphones and the dock adapter, the middle, and that's it. I'm going to stop showing you guys because it's confusing me. I'm trying to look at the screen. Okay, so, I'm going to just hold this power button down for a second. It will want to connect to iTunes. We see a nice little Apple logo there. Let's see what it wants to do. It, it, it'll has to be connected to iTunes. The real challenge will be the real challenge will be whether or not I want to sync with the laptop or the desktop. I generally generally would rather sync an iPod with a Mac just because I think they tend to work better. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. But I might put this one on a laptop. So, like I said, it wants to be connected with iTunes. So you just plug it up, which is I'm not going to do right now. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, send me an email. Don't scratch it. Email at jordanclaycott.com. Of course, online at www.jordanclaycott.com. J-O-R-D-A-N-K-L-E-K-O-T. And of course, you can catch all the action at live.jordanclaycott.com.